Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So, if you don't know who I am, I'm a first soloist with the Mariinsky Theatre, a professional ballet dancer. And today I decided to give you five of my tips on Bakmong Tandu. So, the things that I am thinking about while doing Bakmong Tandu. And Bakmong Tandu is the very, very key ballet move. Everything, almost every move is done through Bakmang Tundu because essentially it is just pointing your toes and stretching your knee and straightening your whole leg from the fifth position to front, side and back. And this is the second combination you do at bar and a lot of the jumps and from Bakmang and a lot of the moves are done through Tundu. So, I decided to share with you some of my tips and like tricks and advices and the corrections I got from my teachers that helped me do, help me perform Bahman Tandu better. So without the further ado, let's get into the video. Tip number one, what is starting the movement? So always be asking yourself that question. So for the Tandu front, the heel should be starting the movement. So it's not like this, you know, the toes are not starting it, but the heel is starting and the toes are going last. For the Tandu side, you are going to start with the arch to show everyone your beautiful foot. And for the Tandu to the back, the toes are going to start the movement. So not the heel, how it is very comfortable to start the tundra back with the heel, but really with the toes. And then the heel is just following. So every time you do Batman Tandu or Batman Tandu Jete or like any of the movements on the floor, you have to think about that if it's to the front, the heel is started. If it's to the back, the toes are first and to the side, just again, the heel goes front but you are really accentuating your arch and showing the pointed toes. Tip number two, watch your fifth. So we ballet dancers should be always watching our fifth position. It is very crucial. It makes the dancing very clean. And we have a chance to start working on our clean fifth positions while we are doing Bok Mong Tandu. So what is very important for me when I am doing it is not only to close in a clean fifth position, but also to cross it every time I'm closing my leg. So using my inner thighs and hip muscles, really crossing and your big toe should not be seen in a fifth position. So it should be very, very put together and really closed and inner thighs are going to really help with it. So whether it's to the back or whether it's to the front, and if you're doing tongue to front, also use your hip muscles to really close and pull the fifth position, like the feet really together and feel the feet against each other and cross in a very, very clean, position, try doing it. And it's also going to warm up your muscles if you are doing it at the bar. And it's going to give you that habit of always closing the clean fifth position. And it will go then on stage. And when you are doing the solos or just dancing, the habit will stay with you. So tip number three is to make room for your straight knees. So I often find myself doing this, you know, when I'm not paying attention, I'm doing this. I'm exaggerating right now, but it really does happen quite a lot, especially when we're closing Bahman Tandu from front, we are bending our knee or bending our supporting knee. So this is very, very important to keep your knees as straight as possible. And we have to pull up on your supporting side, on our supporting sides to close the knee as straight as possible from the front, from the side, not letting the knees, try not to let the knees bend. So pull up and also turn out your supporting side to help the knees close straight. And try really, really thinking about it as well as thinking about the turnout in the both legs. 
and pulling up from your stomach and pulling up from your hips and really making this side very, very tall to allow this leg to close without bending the knee. So tip number four, always turn out. So I feel like I'm going to be talking about this in each one of my tips videos, but I feel like it is very important for me and I don't pay enough attention to this aspect because turning out, we always hear about it, but we don't really like think about it all the time. And it's a little tricky and complicated to do this during Bach Monk Tendu combination because we have to think about the fifth position and it's not the, it's just the second combination at the bar and it's quite difficult because the legs are not that warm yet. So it's quite easy to like turn out during fondue, to turn out during adagio, but it is complicated to do this during tandu because we are not lifting the leg high but we really have to think about turning out both of our sides, the supporting side and the working side and not favoring any of them. So not turning out the supporting side, but neglecting the working and not doing this as well. Not trying to show the beautiful working side, but then neglecting the supporting because supporting is very important for the further the future work at the bar and future work at the center. So equally turning out both legs and doing this in like a spiral. So not just turning out, but turning out and pulling up like in a spiral and not necessarily all about the feet, but most importantly about like the hips and the thigh muscles and the calves and the knees, just everything, the whole leg, engaging all of the muscles in the leg, like making them work in a turnout mode is going to make all of the difference and really thinking about it, really not letting your legs go any way other than turned out is really crucial for the tandu combination, especially at the bar when you are not warmed, really warmed up. So not just turning out and standing like this, but constantly engaging and working with these muscles and also turning out even here and turning out and straightening the knees and yeah, I just try thinking really hard about it every time I do tondu. Tip number five is to scratch the floor. So you know all of this beautiful feet, beautiful like juicy feet movements and incredible point technique in the women's dance and like just feet technique in the male dance. Everything that we are obsessing over when watching professional dancers perform on stage and we're just saying, oh my God, she has beautiful feet or oh my God, he has beautiful feet. This all starts with Bach Monk Tondu, I feel like. So just really start engaging your foot muscles and working on elasticity and flexibility and articulation of your feet during Bach Monk Tondu by scratching the floor by working on the resistance with the floor, uh, between the floor and your feet. So really not just go to here and to here, from here to here. Pay attention to every little step of the way and put a lot of resistance between your foot and the floor and really scratch it and this is going to make a lot of the difference because you are engaging every little muscle in your foot and engaging every little ligament and the feet are going to get used to this and with the time you're going to be able to perform all of this beautiful footwork. So like toe by toe, every little step of the way, engage your feet muscles and then when you're done, when you're at your at the top of your movement, point your toes and show your arch. And then again, every little step of the way is worth your attention. And remember about putting the tension in your feet every step of the way and every little centimeter of your tandy. So these were all of my tips for today. 
hopefully they were helpful for you let me know if any of these helps you guys let's chat in the comments um, i would love to hear from you and if you enjoyed this video give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one and just guys let me know how you've been doing during this crazy time i mean recently i made a video on my instagram to the song uh, i get overwhelmed so easily my anxiety creeps inside of me and it's a little bit true to be honest because it's like so all over the place and life is so different but we just have to stay strong and have to stay motivated and inspired during these hard times so let me know how you're doing and i'm wishing you all of the best i'm wishing you to stay in a great positive mood and to keep doing ballet and keep improving and wishing you really all the very best and i'll see you in the next videos love you guys bye